Hi there, my name is George and I'm here to help you get to know ClickUp a little better. I'm going to keep this pretty high level, so if you're looking for specifics, I would check out our other videos on our YouTube channel and docs page. Okay, first thing I want to show you is how to get around. I'm going to start at the top left here with our team and me dashboards. The nice thing about ClickUp dashboards is that they give you the power to instantly filter which tasks are shown in your current view. Team view shows tasks for your entire team, or me view only shows tasks that you were assigned to. A lot of folks find themselves in me view by accident, so if you feel like you're missing some tasks, check here first. Moving along, we have our three views. Time, which is our calendar and great for managing teams and workloads. List view, which is what I typically work out of, and boards, which I think most folks are already familiar with. This is also where you'll see the custom statuses you've set up, and you can make adjustments to these at any time, but we'll talk a little more about that later. So I'm not going to show you everything here in the interest of time, but I did want to show you a few things on the right. First is the notifications bell. As you can see here, I have a notification. And the nice thing about this page is you can actually interact with the tasks from here. You don't need to click the link, go to the task, and then come back. I'm going to close this really quickly and then clear it. And now not only can I read my notifications from this page, but if I click right here, I can read the old ones as well. So next to our notifications here, we have our team menu. This will allow you to switch between teams you belong to as well as giving you access to your settings and preferences. You can also find the help button here, but I'm going to talk about that again later. The last piece here is the new task button. There's a few ways to create tasks in ClickUp, but this is usually the go-to. I want to take a look at our left sidebar really quickly, then I'll break down how our hierarchy works. This is where you can see all your spaces, projects, and lists. It makes it easy to navigate between them, and I can see all projects and spaces here and here. I would also recommend checking out these ellipses next to our projects and lists because they'll let you manage things on the fly. Okay. Let's talk about our hierarchy for a minute because I think we did a really good job. It starts with spaces, which are for departments, teams, or really any high-level grouping. At ClickUp, we use them to separate departments, so development, for instance. If you're running a company, I strongly recommend doing the same. Up next is projects, and projects are like folders, so in a space like development, I would want to call them builds or sprints. After you have a project in place, you need to build some lists, and lists in ClickUp are where tasks are held. You can use these lists for literally anything, but common uses are initiatives, features, sprints, people, and time period. The next level of hierarchy is tasks and subtasks. Now, I could do an entire video on these, so if you have any questions, please reach out. Before I let you go, I want to come back to our custom statuses. Those can, of course, be done at the space level. So let's click on the ellipses here, and we'll look at these settings. As you can see, the space is already using custom statuses, but I can manipulate these however I want. I can click and drag rename, or even add some new ones here. Now one of my favorite things in ClickUp is that custom statuses aren't just limited to your space. You can have them at the project level too. If I back out of here and I go to my project and click on the ellipses, it works the exact same way. So that's going to be it for me today, but if you have any questions that I didn't answer or have some new ones after this video, feel free to check out our help button. We have docs, videos, and you can even chat with us from right here. Thank you for your time, and I hope you have a beautiful day.